know what 36 chambers stand for, bruh? Did you know there was nine members and three and six equal nine? And it's all kind of, you know, just the philosophies of everything. What, you don't know what 49311 means, son? Wu-Tang is deep. 36 chamber, when you hear it, you're hearing young men finding themselves and finding a way to express themselves. We were watching those karate pictures and we was like, yo, Wu-Tang, clan means family, brotherhood. Yeah, that's, that's who we are. That's what we was doing, not even just us, but people was watching karate flicks, running home at three o'clock, channel five. We, we changed the game, man. We made street rap popular. You know, we, we some real street dudes, man. And yet the music was a medium to express all that energy in a positive form. To enter the hip hop, you must enter Dirty Six Chambers Wu Tang Clan. Evidence indicates that it's stature Merciless like a terrorist heart to capture, capture the flow Changes like a chameleon Blends like a friend that stabs you like a dagger Sing uh -oh. that shit Uh oh Woo. Take your time Sing that shit I think Wu-Tang represents what? brotherhood I'm a group of young men who, uh, you know, came together for one common cause man, and made a difference Wu Tang Killer B! We on the swamp! Wu Tang Killer B! Hilla! I want to throw in the air! Fresh Manila! I came down with that track! The bond in a lot! Like this smash! Fly to the block! Blow! Now it's all over! Niggas seeing pink heart, yellow, gold, orange stars, and blue gold! Hey yo, make some noise out there, yo! Wu Tang in the building, if you don't know! It's wise to always come back together. Like I said, it's a different energy, a different force when we combine. It's family. It's always been that. Still is. We had to come. We had to come. The clan had to come. This was already in God's plan. It had to come with these brothers. Me and my brothers. My clock burst, leaving a hearse, I did worse. I come rough, tough like an elephant tough. Yo, that shit sounds fresh as fuck. Still, like them drums, it just sound like they was making that shit in the sewer. Creepy sounds with like the chops of like the kung fu. It was like a collage. It was a painting. On guard, I'll let you try my Wu-Tang style. They just look like samurais in the hood to me. It was just a different type of vibe. New York in the 90s at that time, grungy and grimy was the thing. You know, army fatigue jackets and 40 below boots, Timberlands, you know, so the beats matched. Bring the Ruckus had a, had a snare on there that was actually the mic underneath a paint bucket. Was a, just slapped it with, I think, like a ruler or a spoon or something. And he got that snare, and you'll hear it. Next time you listen to Bring the Ruckus, you're going to know the snare I'm talking about. It's just like, He was just ahead of his time with all that. When I went to Mount Ida College that summer of 94, seven, eight months after the album caught a lot of heat, that month of August, 
and early September, every dorm room at Mount Ida College was playing 36 Chambers. All of them. All of them. Every single person. And I'll never forget one day, you know, we packing records, Raekwon is there, and Kid Capri on BLS, he plays Protect Your Neck. And I'm telling you, you know, Raekwon's about 5'5". Five, five. He jumped, his head almost hit the ceiling. He was so excited, yo. He just played our record on the radio. It's real now. And, and we never turned back from that point. The first time I played Protect Your Neck, um, I was DJing at a club in um, Queens. So I remember when I played it, and I remember the reaction of the people. If they wasn't already on the dance floor, everybody was like, ah, ah, that type of thing. And, and I remember the reaction, so I played it again. And, I, you know, as a DJ, you don't really like to play the same record twice in a night, or if you do, you spread them out. But feeling how I was feeling, like, yo, like, like yo, yeah, y'all get ready. This is Wu-Tang coming. I'm like, I'm playing this again. And I played it again, and they was rocking with it. Yo, you know I had to call. You know why, right? Why? Because, yo, I never, ever called and asked you to play something, right? Yeah. You know what I want to hear, right? What you want to hear? I want to hear that Wu-Tang joint. Wu-Tang again? Uh, again, again and again. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the kung fu superhero comic book influence featured across 36 Chambers. I'm a kid, you know? They speak to me through that cadence, and I'm instantly taken back to my childhood. Smoke all the like, like smoking Joe Fraser, the hell raiser, raising hell with the flavor, terrorize the jam like troops in Pakistan. Swing through your town like your neighborhood Spider Man, so all tick tock and keep ticking. Will I get you flipping off the shit? You a product of your environment, and that's so true. And everything that went around us, we was deeply involved in the streets. Our parents, we all grew up broke, you know. Like, I went through that, and I, I really just inside, I felt like, yo, I'm this superhero, man. Like, I'm the Flash, I'm gonna outrun that shit. Or I'm, I'm Superman, I'm gonna overpower that. Whoever the hero is, you know what I mean? I felt like I just didn't discover my powers yet. Baby, you gotta get this loop. Yo, back in the, yo, back in the days, when shit, everything was all smooth and calm, and shit was like, yo, man, I'm, I'm building, girl. I'm building, man. I'm saying, like, remember, like, back in, like, in 70, fucking 79? Everybody was on our line. Nah, nah, 87. That was my the favorite. The skit, you know, really put you in the trance and made you feel like you was there when you was listening to this shit. Then it's just like, this is one of those songs that had, like, elements that's air candy that puts you in the place, like rain and shit. When you hear those nuances and you hear rain and shit, you start to really feel like you was there, you dig me? And I think that was just mainly like, you know, they strong suit, because people could relate to struggle, especially when you're in a motherfucking struggle, man. Man lines is up for grass, brothers passing away. I gotta make wakes, receiving all types of calls from upstate. Yo, I can't cope with the pressure, settling for lesser. The guard left lessons on my dresser, so I can bloom and blossom, find a new way, continue to make more hits of rain and eight. Sunshine plays a major part in the daytime. Peace to mankind, ghost face cam, your black nine. You know what I mean? So it was just, it was just, that's what it was. Can it be all so simple? essence of the street shit with us. And then, then we just came with all that energy that we had balled up from that era. And it came out in the music. And it was like, wow, 
That's exactly how I was feeling. That's why when Ray talk about that cream shit, every time he performs that fucking song, that shit touched me right here. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. He can perform that song 300 million times, and every time he's opened his fucking mouth, I get the fucking feelings like I'm back at 88, man. Even if it wasn't the Wu-Tang, there probably still would have been an old dirty bastard. His cadence was the illest in the game. You can never get him to say a rhyme the same way twice. Old Dirty was about to become 36 years old, right? But the killer is, when you look at his first album, his album was Return to the 36 Chambers, right? Where'd he die at? He died in 36 Chambers. So he returned back to the essence at 36 Chambers, 36 years old. What's up, G? Uh, she already know. It's good, nigga. Chillin'. You gotta know your father, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know yourself to even hop in anybody's shoes. Right, right. You know, it's, it's all in the bloodline. So I think I just took it, and I just ran with it. It's just like my family kind of put me in that spot. And I was like, am I ready? I'm here, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was right, born right, ready. Right, right. Oh! Never get this, no, I'm Terry Bomb and shit, swoom. That's warming up a little bit. Rapping in is what's happening. Keep the pockets stacking in, heads clapping in. At the party when I move my body. Gotta get up and be somebody. Come in the bar, grocery from me. Turn out to be a hip hop MC. The law, in order to enter the Wu Tang, you must bring the whole dirty bastard type slang. Represent the Jizza, Abbott, Ruza, Shot Corn, Inspect the Deck. Dirty hole getting low with his flow. Introducing those things. My people saw you with me where you at? In the front, in the back, killer bees on attack. My people saw you with me where you at? Smoking meth, hitting cats on the block with the gap. Yo, to enter hip hop, you must enter the Wu Tang, the 36 Chambers. Wow. Good looking. Niggas on the left, rag shit to death. Woods on the right, wild for the night. Monks in the back, come on in the track. To the who is coming through, the outcome is critical. Fucking with my style, sort of like a miracle. You know, Met the Man is talking, he's like, expect the deck, he's like this. Raekwon, oh, he's a chef, you know what I'm saying? Uh, old Dirty Bastard, because there's no father to his style, and like, how they hold, how they whole thing was, 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 was based on that Voltron idea. You know, like, we took that as well, and we understand that concept as well. Like, there's nothing that's gonna be stronger than the all. No one is gonna be stronger than the all. You know what I mean? We're always gonna be our strongest if we put it together and act as one. They left the blueprint for us, being that next generation. From the slums of Shaolin, Wu-Tang Clan strikes again. The RZA, the Jizza, old dirty bastard, inspector death, they pour on the chef. You guard, go face killer, man. Let me take your deep, man. Let me take your deep, man. Up from the 36 chambers. <laughs> Where do I see 36 chambers 25 years from now? The way I see the new kids coming in, they come out, woo, tang, woo, tang. You know what I mean? So the seeds, the, the babies is keeping it alive now. You know, we coming with information. You know, anybody that's going through a struggle, anybody who's seeking knowledge, this is all essential to the children. Yeah, that's our credo. That should be our credo right there. Wu-Tang is for the children. That's what makes Wu-Tang forever. You know what I mean? If you don't plant seeds, it won't be forever. You know what I mean? You have to give something back in order for something new to grow. I hope when young people hear this album, 36 Chambers, that they could find a morsel of inspiration or find a reflection or a resonance of what they're going through. And even if they don't find a solution, they could realize they're not alone. I think that the wick is lit, <laughs> and I think it's going to continue to burn. 
for generations.